What's up guys, we're back with another episode and today I'm gonna to be giving you Emmett's Picks of the Week for UFC 299, March 9th, down in Miami, Florida, O'Malley versus Vera 2. Plus, I'm gonna be giving you guys my underdog and KO picks of the week. So stay tuned till the end of the video. You won't wanna miss it. All right, so starting off the main card, we have Peter Yan, who's ranked number four, against Song Yadong, who's ranked number seventh in the Bantamweight division. So this fight has the potential to be fight of the night. I feel these two individuals are so similar in styles. They're both known for their phenomenal striking. They have great grappling and wrestling, and they're so powerful. Yan has a lot of knockouts. Song has a lot of knockouts. Even though Yan has lost four of his last five fights, he's still the favorite because he's fighting the best guys in the world. He, he lost to Marab, who's the number one contender. He lost to the current champion right now, Sean O'Malley. He lost to the former champion, Aljamain Sterling. He's fighting the best guys in the world, and so he's still at the top of the division, whereas Song, phenomenal fighter continuing to grow he's won five of his last six fights he's still so young and he has so much experience so i'm really looking forward to this this matchup it's going to be who can go out there set the tone fast who can land the the better strikes and i think the difference in this fight is going to be song speed he's so fast and he hits so hard so for this fight i'm going with my teammate song yadong the next fight is between Burns, who's ranked number four, and Madalena, who's ranked number 11 in the welterweight division. Burns is the plus 100 underdog, whereas Madalena is a minus 120 favorite. This is an intriguing matchup that I'm looking forward to. Burns is a, a true veteran of the game. He's so well-rounded, been, been in the UFC for a long, long time, whereas Madalena is a up-and-coming top prospect that's undefeated in the UFC and he's known for his, his slick and powerful boxing skills. I can see why Madalena is a favorite in this fight, but he's also gonna fight the toughest competition that he's ever fought. And if he gets through Gilbert Burns, it's gonna show everybody how good he really is. With this prediction, it's a, it's a tough one because you're fighting a, a world-class veteran who's been at the top of the game for so long, but Madalena, he's, he's just coming up and he continues to improve and impress everybody he has phenomenal striking and and i think he's just going to continue to ride the momentum and ride that wave so i'm picking madalena to get the job done the next fight is a welterweight bout between kevin holland who's ranked number 13 against michael venom page and this is a highly anticipated bout between these two because MVP is finally making his UFC debut. This is one that I'm super excited about. The fans are in for something special. I feel like Holland has to get inside. He has to get MVP up against the cage and then start to work his takedowns. If he can get MVP to the ground and hold him down and just grind out the fight, I feel like that's his easiest path to victory. If MVP stuffs the takedown, continues to use his footwork and stay at bay and keep that kicking distance, I think we're gonna see a, just a spectacular performance from MVP. And out of MVP's last eight fights, he's only lost one fight and that was a split decision. He also kind of redeemed himself he got knocked out earlier in his career to Douglas Lima, where he ended up beating him not too long ago. So with this prediction, I'm going with MVP to get the job done and live up to the hype. In the next matchup, it's a lightweight bout between number three, Dustin Poirier, and number 12, Benoit Saint-Denis. And this is the co-main event of the evening, uh, which I think a lot of the fans are excited about this matchup, just because Benoit has been on such a tear. He has a huge fan base. Uh, from France and, and Europe. He's just been knocking people out and people are thinking he's gonna be the next champion, but he's fighting a tough, tough Dustin Poirier. He's been the interim champion. He's been at the, the top of the lightweight division for his entire career, beating savages and only fighting the best of the best. I feel like the keys to victory for Benoit, he's gonna come out hard, he's a powerful striker. If he gets the job done, he's gonna hurt Poye early or he's gonna catch him and knock him out. But I feel like Poye's been in these, these high pressure fights before. He, he's fought for world titles. 
he's going to rely on his experience and if he has to he'll weather the storm and i think that's going to be a huge part of the fight for this pick even though benoit is a huge favorite i'm going with the experience i'm going with dustin poyer to get the job done in the main event of the night we have sugar sean o'malley fighting marlon cheeto vera for the bantamweight title O'Malley's only loss is to Cheeto, and that's why this is such a highly anticipated rematch. So the last time these guys fought was August 2020 at UFC 252, and there's a little bit of controversy behind it because O'Malley did suffer an injury, but that was all of Cheeto's doing. You know, he was relentless with the calf kicks to where he hurt him, and then he was able to get on top and finish him with elbows. So much time has passed since their last fight, O'Malley has continued to get better and better, climb the ranks, evolve as a fighter, and become a world champion. This is such a tough fight to predict just because I can see how both guys get the job done. Cheeto is so well known for his, his relentless striking and his high pace. He has some of the best cardio in the UFC, and I feel like the longer the fight goes, it's going to heavily favor Cheeto. If O'Malley gets the job done, I think it's going to be early in the fight, maybe the first or second round. He has great footwork. He's really tricky. He's fast and he has such a long reach and he always catches people at the end of his punch, which creates a ton of power. This is such a tough pick, but I'm going with the lines on this one. O'Malley keeps his title. As promised, we're introducing a new segment to my pick videos. I'm going to give you guys two picks from the entire card. One's going to be an underdog, who I feel is most likely to win. And I'm going to give you a fighter who I think is most possible to get a knockout. So my underdog pick of the week, I'm staying at home. I'm going with my teammate, Song Yadong. I've seen him in the gym. He's definitely ready for this fight. He's continuing to get better and better. He's too fast. He hits too hard. He shocks the world and gets the job done. My KO pick of the week, I'm going with Michelle Pereira. He's a big middleweight, which brings a lot of power. He has 11 KOs already, so I think he's going to get another one. So those are my picks for UFC 299. I think it's going to be a great card with a ton of action. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and we'll catch you on the next one.